Hi, welcome to automation testing. In in this video, we are going to see a sample Selenium program using Faker in C Sharp. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Now we'll start writing a program. Right, test public wide Faker test data generator. Before that, what we need to do, I need uh, Faker API available to this uh, Visual Studio. For that, what I'll do, I'll go to Nugget Packages, Manage Nugget Packages, Browse and search Faker. This is the one Faker rubyforce.org and click and install. I already installed, there is no need to install, otherwise you can just get the install button, you can install it. Okay, I will close this. Now I will start using string full name is equal to, I have faker class dot name is a category dot you will find full name. Okay, then string first name equal to faker dot name dot first and then string last name equal to faker dot name dot last and the same way string address is equal to faker dot address dot you will find so many I am taking only city then string phone number is equal to faker dot phone dot number ok and string email is equal to faker dot internet dot email ok now I have all, all the data with me I just want to print on the console this information so I'll write console dot write line for each thing and now I'll try to execute this run and we'll see whether it will generate unique data or not for each run run tests it just executed go to the output and we'll see the full name is manly coach 2 first name is Valdo last name is Shupi something like that it will give you the data. So I will execute the same thing. I will run test again and it is done. When I click this one you see Lawrence for V something like that. Okay. For each time it will give you uh, random data. See here what happens the full name is Lawrence Pauls and first name is Rosalia and the full name and first name and last name are all unique it not depends upon first name last name will not depend upon full name and the same way address is also unique email is some other thing so but I want that email depends upon the full name then what I can do here in the e email address I can say full name ok I will execute and see what will happen sorry not in the run tests and it's done if you go here and the email is depends upon the full name just in green hold just in green hold so you can generate this way also email address okay this way you can generate the random unique test data and you can feed it to your selenium program we'll see the sample selenium program in the next video thank you